everyone. I'm Christina Sumner. Welcome to the microlearning curriculum series, Neuroradiology, on tumefactive demyelination. On CT imaging, lesions are ill-defined and iso or hypoattenuating, white matter predominant, and have mild to no mass effect when taking their size into account. Lesions on MRI show relative cortical sparing, are often greater than 2 centimeters and can be multiple, have increased T2 flare signal with minimal to no surrounding edema or mass effect, and decreased cerebral blood flow on perfusion imaging. Lesions also have ill-defined borders, decreased T1 signal, and complete or incomplete rim enhancement on contrast-enhanced sequences. Restricted diffusion is seen in the zone of active demyelination, which is typically peripheral. On MR spectroscopy, lesions may have a lipid slash lactate peak, and on perfusion imaging, lesions typically show decreased perfusion. Tumefactive demyelination is mass-like regions of autoimmune-mediated demyelination, predominantly confined to white matter. There is usually a progressive leading edge of demyelination with imaging features considerably overlapping with tumor. For a definitive diagnosis, biopsy is sometimes required. Tumefactive demyelination is relatively rare. It is most commonly seen in patients with multiple sclerosis in individuals who are between 20 and 40 years old with a slight female predominance. Fortunately, lesions can involute with treatment. Disease presentation is usually with acute or subacute neurologic deficits. The degree of disability depends on the size and location of the lesions. The most common disability is hemiparesis. Treatment is with high-dose IV steroids or immune-modulating therapies, such as plasma exchange, cyclophosphamide, or rituximab. Prognosis is variable and can improve or fully resolve with conservative treatment. However, relapse is relatively common. Differential diagnoses include high-grade gliomas, lymphoma, and abscess. High-grade gliomas often show multifocal enhancement, more mass effect, and present in older patients. Lymphoma often has multifocal lesions that are periventricular in location and present in immunocompromised patients. Abscesses show increased central DWI signal and are associated with other infections. The take-home points are tumefactive demyelination is a mass-like demyelinating process that can mimic tumor and neoplasm. Enhancement with restricted diffusion represents the advancing front of demyelination. Suggestive imaging features are incomplete rim enhancement, decreased blood flow and perfusion imaging, and comparatively less mass effect. Lesions may require biopsy to differentiate them from tumors. Thank you so much for listening to this microlearning curriculum series on tumefactive demyelination.